Okay, so today on Sunday 20th, December 20th. Yep, we're going to my sister's wedding. In Chris's. Yeah, and her fiance Chris, her fiance. who's about to be her husband. I'm so excited. Um, this is my baby sister. Uh, I'm really glad that we're here. Yep, after six months of traveling, we're back to the States. Just for this. Dr. Seuss. We are all a little weird and life's a little weird and when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours we fall in mutual weirdness and we call it love. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, whatever you believe in, whomever you love, you are welcome here. As we begin this celebration we're also mindful of those who are not with us here today but who we know are with us in spirit. Christopher and Kaylin wish to thank each of you for your presence here today and for the rest of, uh, of the support you've given them and the role you've played throughout their lives. They thank you for your love and support and for being here to enhance the meaning of this very special day. Doubly blessed is this couple who, as they enter into marriage today, have the approval and blessings of their family and friends. Who has the honor of presenting this woman to be married to this man? an expression of love between two people, a sharing of their joy, a sharing of their hope. Today marks a new beginning for Christopher and Kaylin who have chosen to spend their lives together united as one. We are here, all of us, to celebrate with the two of you what already exists, the living love of two people who have found joy and meaning together. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. Therefore, there's a lot of doing in marriage there's also a lot of being. It is being a person whose love for your partner in life overwhelms everything else. It is being forgiving because each of you will hurt the other from time to time. It means being patient as you seek to be both who you are and grow together in oneness. Establishing a relationship in which your independence is equal, your dependence is mutual, and your obligation to each other is reciprocal. It is being the kind of loving partner without whom your spouse cannot imagine walking into the future. It is not marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Christopher and Kaylin, vows have been shared, rings have been given, and loving words have been spoken. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the state of campus, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
exchanged their personal vows. Kaylin, would you like to share yours first? from California and uh, we visited Chris and thought that the house would be like a hurricane and a mess because planning a wedding sounds like it's insanely difficult and no it wasn't that and Chris was the same just demeanor <laughs> just, oh, just like. I know Chris from uh, teaching at AC prep he was an English teacher and I was a math teacher and because I was a math teacher I like numbers and I like on special occasions, and uh, I like to relate everything back to how nice the numbers are. So today's date, 1220, it's an even number, that's nice. It is also the number of different species of barnacles there are. So, 1,220 barnacles. Um, it is also the date of sister, Michelle. There are no words to describe Kaylin. <laughs> Um, she is beautiful, inside and out, Thank she you. is intelligent, she is kind, she is talkative. <laughs> so, Kaylin and Chris, you plan such an upbeat and creative wedding, which shows you both have a sense of fun and adventure, willing to go forward in life in your own direction. Keeping fun in your life together is probably one of the most important things you can do. Enjoy being together, like each other's company, and always look for new activities to try together. And laugh, and laugh a lot. Kaylin, your dad would be so proud of you today. Of the amazing woman you have become, you are kind, intelligent, and very talented. Bill and I are also very proud of you and happy that you are marrying a man who loves you very much. We want to welcome Chris into our family and look forward to seeing you both grow in your marriage together. So please join me in a toast to Kaylin and Chris. Here, here. We saw such a theme right there. there. No pressure, no rush. You're, you know you know what you're doing. And again, I'm really, really happy you guys are getting married. Um, maybe now I don't have to worry so much about Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> I know I will, but maybe I won't. So.